All right, so let's update this code a little bit and clean it up a little. So we see that this is the output that we have, but if you remember, we need the output to look like this. So let me just copy this and we'll use this as like a template sort of. So let's just put that there, template. And we're actually not gonna use this variable, but that's what we need to make it look like. So we basically need to add the bucket, which is this. So let's make a variable for the bucket. So bucket equals, then take this and cut it. Oops, not bucket. Paste that there and then say bucket here. And then we should be able to say bucket down here. So let's um, import OS because we're going to need to say, um, let's make a new variable in here called VSIS3 path or image path and say os.path.join and we want to join the bucket comma with um, file.key. And let's print that. Let's just see if this gives us what we want. It should, but it should be missing the VSIS3, so we'll have to add, add that on again. Okay, so it has the slash the other way. All right. Um, I forget how to change. So we can get rid of this now. We don't need that. Um, so we need a forward slash. So python os.path.join forward slash. Okay, so this guy's saying, just join everything and then replace. Let's try that. Dot replace. We want to replace the backslash with forward slash. Let me try that. Okay, that looks good. But what are we missing? We're missing the VSIS3 in front of it. So we need to add that. So we need to os.path.join. Let's try that, but in a string. And then, oh wait, I got rid of something by accident. I think this will work. Okay, that looks right to me. Let's just compare it closely. PSIS 3 forward slash bucket key file. Yeah, that should work. Um, so now we have our VSIS3 path. So now we just need to do archive.add rasters to mosaic data set. So if you remember the first one is the um, oh good I have it in here it's the path to the mosaic data set. So that's this. So let's actually put that in a variable. So now we can just say mosaic data set, comma, 
remember this was raster data set. Oops. And then next is the file, which is VSIS3 image path. So why don't we try this, but let's, um, um, that should work. I just, I don't want it to, to test that. I don't want to have it do every single one. Let's just try like 10 or something. So let's set up a counter equal to zero. And then just say if counter is greater than 10, just say break. And it's going to break out of the loop. Um, but then we need to say... Actually, yeah, at the start of this loop, we'll say counter plus equals one. So the first time it goes through, counter is zero. Then it, we add one, that adds a raster. Then it adds two, three, four, five. And this is just checking to see if it's greater than 10. And if it is, it's going to quit. It's going to stop. So let's try five, actually. And then why don't we also add a print statement here. So print adding and then I'm going to say dot format and VSIS3 image path. So this is just saying add, it's a string and then we're adding and this is a way you can put variables into strings. Um, and also let's print, print the count out. Count equals dot format uh, counter okay and then at the end of it let's just print program finished alright let's try this with any luck it's gonna work so it's actually gonna run add rasters five times now there's probably a smarter way to do this and remember how we added five at once so we ran add rasters one time but we gave it five inputs that's what we're going to do next but first let's just make sure that this works oh you know what let's also print um, arcpy.get messages this will print out the you know the the information about the gp tool okay so Fingers crossed. All right. So it looks like it's doing something because it's taking some time. So I expect to see, like, yeah, output succeeded. Awesome. So it's working. So now it's going to the second one. That one worked. Cool. Looks like we're in good shape. Yeah, once this finishes, we'll just uh, open up Arc Pro and make sure we see uh, five more rows. Program finished, cool. Let's go back to Pro. map um, so I made a new project so we probably have to reconnect to that folder where the mosaic data set was so for me that was an e YouTube videos and just go here and we should see there should be like at least 10 fa uh, images in here So remember, we added the initial five, then I did two more manually, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it worked. Cool, so this video is getting a little long. In the next video, I'm going to show you how, instead of running ArcPy five different times, we're going to run it one time and just pass it five different images at once. All right, 